it's Marissa and Shauna and today's video is going to be a brutally honest review of some things that we think are really good and actually live up to the hype yeah I feel like some stuff it's like they're so it's so overhyped and you're just like oh this is so overrated but yeah I feel like all these things are things where I'm like oh my god I actually can't live without it. Do you guys feel like euphoria is overhyped? Because for some reason, I feel like overnight, just everyone became obsessed yeah. with it. We don't watch it. So I like, tell me it. down below, like, is it that good? Oh my God, every time someone's like, what TV shows are you watching? Euphoria, I'm like, no. I haven't. Well, I mean, I don't know. And I don't is it that good? I don't understand any of the memes. Everyone's <laughs> like, this is rude. This is this person. I'm yeah. like, I don't know who these people are. I mean, I love Zendaya. I love but, Zendaya. But I like, mean, I just, I just don't know anything about the show. I feel like I'm gonna watch it when like no one cares about it yeah. anymore. <laughs> when it's been out for like years and like everyone's already seen it and yeah. Anyway. I know. I mean, we love Bridgerton. We love, love me some Bridgerton. We're excited for Bridgerton. Season two. Not overhyped. No, though. not overhyped. <laughs> Bridgerton is underrated. <laughs> So the first thing that we did to glow up our looks this year is tons of new fresh jewelry pieces and these are from Nuri and I just think that this is such a cute and also really really affordable way to like spruce up your look and all of our pieces are just so unbelievably cute and affordable and they would make like the perfect gift for somebody or the perfect gift for yourself. Oh yeah, great for Valentine's Day, birthdays. I love personalized things. I know. I think it's just such a fun way to like get someone a cute gift that they'll have forever and that they'll remember. Yeah. So I got these two personalized necklaces that say Marissa on them. And one of them is this moon and star necklace with my name printed in the middle. And then the second one is one of those like double necklaces where the chain is on top and on the bottom. And the top chain is this cute heart and then the bottom says Marissa and I just love these so much and honestly if you were to get these from like a jewelry store it'd be so much more expensive so I also got a few pairs of earrings I love that they're really lightweight and delicate they don't weigh your ears down I hate heavy earrings um, so these ones are snakes we also got bees and little lightning bolts and then we actually each got a pair of these eyeglass holder chains too. And we both wear blue light glasses around the house for when we look at screens. So these were like super, super cool to us. And then this one has blue, orange, yellow, and green beads. And this other one is clear with little blue flowers on it. It's so cute. And then these are perfect because Sean and I are always like misplacing our blue light glasses and losing them. So it's great because if you're just watching TV, you can just like take it off or whatever, like do what you gotta do. So the last thing we got are these two necklaces. And this one is like this bluish green chain. And then this one is like this black leather chain. And these would also be great to use for blue light glasses or, or you could use it for a mask chain to like keep your mask on your face. Yeah, no, she pointed that out and I was like, oh my God, that's so clever. Cause like, I didn't even think of that, but yeah, you could really use this for anything or you could just wear it as a necklace. So I do like that this really has like three purposes to it. And I didn't even really think of that. I was just like, oh, cute little necklace. But I love that this is basically like interchangeable. It's like a three in one necklace. And we will link new read down below for you guys to check out. I am like obsessed with everything we got. I love everything we got, especially my little Marissa necklaces. So yeah, definitely check them out. Go get yourself some cute jewelry. So one product that lives up to the hype, and you know it lives up to the hype because we've been talking about it for like the last year and a half, and it is Dossier Perfumes. Oh my freaking gosh. I feel like, oh, they smell so good. Mine is Floral Berries. Mine is Floriental Coconut, and it makes me think about being on a tropical beach. Ooh, and mine makes me think of like springtime, which is great, because like we're moving into spring. Smell mine. <laughs> but like pretty one big regret that I have and I think you have it too is spending like hundreds of dollars on perfumes 
Yeah, I once spent two hundred dollars on a bottle of perfume that was literally about the same like size as this. Jeez. And I've spent like a hundred fifty. Like I've spent yeah. a pretty pretty penny on perfume. Yeah. And I just don't like it because sometimes you spray it and it fades really quickly. Or sometimes I feel like when I spend so much on perfume, I do like one spritz and like I'm I'm scared to spray it too much yeah. because I spent so much money on it. So the great thing about Dossier is that it's very affordable. Like I think the prices start at twenty nine dollars and then they can go like up of 39 or 49 but I love Dossier. Yeah. I feel like we both do. Um, they make all of their perfumes in Grass, France. So they are very, very high quality and they're very like comparable to really expensive perfumes. They're like, oh, yeah. they're like dupes of like really, really, really high end stuff. Like, you know, Tom Ford, Jo Malone. Oh, so and like, like you said, I love how with Dossier, I can just spritz it all over yeah. myself. I don't have to be like, ooh, one dab. Yeah, like I can drown myself in perfume and like, feel good about it knowing that like I can repurchase it and it's not gonna set me back like hundreds of dollars. Yeah. Um. So yeah, we love Dossier. Love, love, love. Ooh, my notes are peony, red apple, berries, rose, Ooh. carnation, jasmine, suede accord. So many amazing, amazing scents. And I feel like I love Dossier because I know us and we've been switching up our scents like every single month mm -hmm. to like switch it up, do something new. So yeah, we will link Dossier below for you guys. Um, um, and we also have a coupon code if you want to save some money, smell amazing. Okay, so the next thing that we think lives up to the hype, and it's something that I wasn't expecting to get this year, but we ended up getting yeah. it, are season passes to Universal Studios. Hallelujah. So we live in LA <laughs> and Universal Studios is really close by. Yeah. So, and the good thing about it is that if you use it, if you go at least twice, yeah. it pays for itself. Oh yeah. No, it's a really good like investment. Like investment. Investment. <laughs> investment. <laughs> but like I actually- Investment in your entertainment. <laughs> well, I was surprised because we have like, I think like the cheapest passes or like one of the cheapest passes. One of the cheapest passes. And there's not that many blackout days. Yeah. Like there's, like you can go a lot of dates and a lot of like weekends yeah. too. Like you can go, there's a lot of like Saturdays and Sundays you can go. So it's actually a very, very good deal. Um, and I think, I don't remember how much we paid. I think it was like under 200 each or like mm -hmm. around 200 each. But yeah, no, if you go at least twice, it like you get your money's you worth. You get your money's worth. And I just like having a season pass because like sometimes I'll go to City Walk to like see a movie or like meet up with a friend. So like if I go there at like 4 p.m. 5 p.m. I'll be like, oh, quick, I can go do some single rider rider lines at Universal. Like I can just jump right in kind of thing. And I don't know, I feel like it's just nice to be able to like go in and go for however long you want. Exactly. Like you don't feel the pressure of like, oh my God, this is my one day ticket. Like I have to go do everything. Yeah. So I think if you do live in the LA area, it is really, really worth it. I agree. I mean, we love theme parks. We are theme yeah. park people. And it, it's just that like a lot of the other theme parks are so far They're away. so far. They're literally oh. like two hours away. I know. So. I mean, it's a shame because like if we lived close to like Knott's or Disneyland or even Six Flags, like yeah. I would love to like go on the regular, the time. but it's just not practical. So I feel like Universal, it's just right there. Yeah. You know, you can hop on the tram ride. You can go on Secret Life of Pets. There's like we something love for Secret everything. Life of Pets. I think yeah. that's our favorite. It's it's brand new, the ride, and it's it so is. cute. It's so cute. It's it's really cute. Um, Chloe and Chloe. Gidget. And I love the tram ride. The tram ride's like always a classic. Mm -hmm. And it's always different every time. Yeah, and I feel like, I don't know, it's just nice to be able to like go someplace theme parky and but just have a chill day. Cause sometimes yeah. sometimes when I go to a theme park with so many rides, I'm like, oh, I'm yeah. overwhelmed. But like, I feel like Universal, it's good cause you can kind of do it all. And yeah. like, you can have a season pass, just go however many times you want. And I don't know. And then they have horror nights too, which is always really fun. And just to chime in, you are totally right. There are so few blackout dates. It honestly yeah. surprised me. I was like, okay, we can go any day. Yeah, I mean, I think like towards summer, it gets like more blackout daty. Yeah, but like but around, I think there was only like two or three days this month that were blacked out. Yeah, no, it was very like, it was like, wow, we can pretty much go any day this month. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We went last week. <laughs> That's why we're so like, it's fresh in our minds. It's fresh in our minds. But yeah, no, I think it's it's a really good idea if you live in the area. 
Um, and it's just fun because it's like something fun to do and you pay for it once, but then you enjoy it for the whole year, so. And then they have funnel cake too, so. <laughs> and butterbeer. <laughs> and butterbeer, and hot butterbeer. <gasps> So the next thing is like a really classic wardrobe piece that I feel like everybody needs in their wardrobe. And it is a really like cool, sick leather jacket. Yeah. I say sick, like sick, like oh, yeah, a sick. black leather jacket that's gonna go with everything. Yeah. I feel like black leather jackets are so cool because you can dress them up, you can dress them down. Yeah. You can wear it with like jeans or you can wear it with a dress. Yeah. You know? I feel like leather jackets, like you can really do anything. Yeah, I feel like every girl needs at least one good one in her yeah. closet. And we just recently got some from Boda Skins. Oh yeah, and they're so, so cute. We actually got the Jaws style, and we were both really drawn to this style. And we were expecting to get different, like, styles yeah. or like different hardwares, but we both loved this style the so exact much. exact same one. Because it's very like cool. It's very badass. And like, I just love all of the details. There's like the little buckles on, uh, on each arm and then the little straps down below. I just feel like it's very, it's very much a statement piece. Yeah. Like if I dressed like a hobo, but I wore that, it didn't, it wouldn't matter what else mm -hmm. I wore because that's the only thing people would be looking at is my I, sick leather jacket. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, both of us chose the gold hardware, which is kind of unusual because I've only ever had jackets with silver hardware before. Yeah. But the gold was like very unusual yeah. and we were like, oh, like I don't have anything like this. Yeah, and I feel like the gold is just more like, bam, here I am, yeah. wham, bam. And I, I do feel like I have leather jackets with silver hardware. I have like, I feel like quite a few. So this was just so different than anything I ever had. And I just like it because it's, it really is like a forever piece. Like I feel oh, like yeah, you're gonna have this. The quality is amazing. Yeah, the quality is like incredible. I can't, I, when we first got them, I couldn't stop touching it because it was just so buttery and <laughs> soft and smooth. And we actually also got them uh, customized. So we have these like little gold, like name plates yeah, and the tags. And I just think that's so cute. So you put cute. your name on it. Oh my God. That would be like the best gift to give somebody, but only like a, a, a true friend. Okay, so the next thing that lives up to the height are things that help grow your hair, skin, and nails. And for me personally, because I dye my hair blonde, I do sometimes get breakage. Like it's unavoidable no matter how careful you are. So I've been um, using the Vital Proteins Booty bo Beauty <laughs> Booty Boost. <laughs> you use that Booty Boost. It's a okay, just duty. <laughs> Oh my God. So I've been using the Vital Proteins Beauty Boost and actually we've both been using this. I think this is like the second one we've yeah. gone through. We've gone through many. And you can see how empty this. Oh my God, the collagen <laughs> gummies. I feel like the gummies are like tasty too. They're so good. Oh. These are grape flavored. And then this is the hair boost and this is the skin hydration boost. And oh my gosh, this is like my dream combo right here because I, before I started taking these, I thought I was going bald. Like really? I was like, I felt like my hair, I wasn't going bald, but like my hair it was, was like so thinning. thinning. Mm -hmm. And it was like, you know, when you just get those like bald spots, like yeah. it's not, you're not like going bald, but it's just like those those sparse like patches really? in your hair. Do you, do you feel like you saw a difference with it? I feel like I saw a huge difference, oh. but I do feel like um you do have to take these like on the regular. Like you mm. can't just take it once and then be like, Expect okay, results. where's my hair? Yeah. It's like, if you miss like a day, it's fine. But like, I would yeah. say just like, at it's least consistent. like, yeah, like at least like five or six days a week you should be taking it. I mean, you should yeah. really be taking it all seven, but like, you know, sometimes you forget or whatever. Or you're, gone for the day. Um, I mean, these have 60 capsules, so if you, yeah. okay, but you're supposed to take two per day, but yeah. if you, even if you just took one per day, that like would last you for two months. Yeah, and I love the skin hydration boost because I am somebody, I get so much acne right on my cheekbone line, and I sometimes get it on both sides, but I know you guys can't see because I'm wearing makeup, but I get so much acne, so it's like, this just really helps in addition to my skincare. Cause it's like, yeah. it's not just about skincare. It's like, you from know, the inside from the out. inside out. Yeah, yeah, and I know it's like, can be stress related or I know sometimes diet related, like you can be allergic to certain ingredients in food, like mm -hmm. oats or things like that, that can cause like breakouts. So I'm just um, really trying to get on that. 
your skin nails. Okay, game. can I just add, like, this isn't really a bad thing, but when I was taking this really, cause I, I'm not always as consistent as I should be, but when I was taking this so consistently, uh, I felt like my dark roots grew in so fast. Cause like my hair was oh my growing gosh. in so fast. It was like, I just colored it. And like literally <laughs> like two weeks later, I was like, I think I'm like starting <laughs> to feel like I need to color oh it again. God. Cause like it was just growing in so fast. But it's yeah. funny because when I feel like I take that, I feel like my nails grow really mm, fast. I'm nails, like, I yeah. just cut them. And yeah. like three days later, they're already like so long. And I'm like, what? So like, it's tricky because it's like, I don't like when my nails grow too long, but I like the hair and I like the skin. So it's like hair, skin, nails. I'll take the nails. I'll, I'll endure it, which I know is weird because no, most people are like, I'm trying to grow out my nails, but yeah. But yeah, so yeah, vital proteins. We love the like gummies and the supplements. And I feel like I used to be one of those people that's like, my hair, skin, nails, okay, whatever. Is it actually yeah. gonna make a difference? Like I used to be like, oh, is it overrated? Like, mm -hmm. is it? But once I started taking them, I was like, oh, yeah. they it's live up not life. <laughs> overrated. Like now I'm a believer. I feel like I'm a believer now, definitely. Okay, so the next thing that lives up to the hype is something that we've featured before, yeah. and they are pollen bags. <laughs> oh, we love pollen. Mm, I can't stop smelling the bags. I know that's weird. Okay, we actually have a couple of different ones, but we each picked out our favorites, which are actually the first yeah. ones we ever bought. I um, just think that these are so cute, and I love that like they're still pretty small and compact, but they're big enough to the point where you can put a phone, you can put like yeah. your keys, everything you really need for the day. Yeah, like, okay, I personally love watching YouTube videos about luxury handbags, both of us do. Yeah. And okay, both of us have gotten really into like renting luxury handbags. And I think yeah. one thing that it's shown me is that the quality of like, you know, Chanel, Dior, it's, yeah. It's not so good to justify spending yeah. thousands of dollars. It's I would so rather hard. spend like a few hundred dollars yeah. and get something that has like great style. It's, yeah. it's, you know, it's a Parisian brand. It has like, you know, a lot of like cool factor because yeah. it's like so popular on Instagram. You can wear it daytime, you can wear it nighttime. And they're always wearing it on Emily in Paris. I know. <laughs> oh my God, every time we watch Emily in Paris, we're like, oh, she's wearing a Pauline bag. She is. Oh. But yeah, so I just love the brand. I think that their styles are really, really elegant, very chic, and I completely agree about the quality. I think like there's, why should I spend like $3,000? Like 10 times the price or $5,000 They're even. very well priced. Yeah, they're very, very well priced for what you get. And like yeah. just having a really good quality bag that's not gonna like fall apart, that's not going to like, break down, that's not gonna have a lot of like construction and quality issues. Cause mm -hmm. I feel like with a lot of the bigger brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, yeah. Chanel, there are a lot of quality issues. Like sometimes mm -hmm. even when we rent bags, I'm like, this is beat up. Like this yeah. is, this has been through some stuff. Like this yeah. is not held up well. I spend like a more humble amount to the point where I'm like, I know that like I can get a new one and like I can change, get more colors, get different colors. I feel like you just subconsciously feel better about it. Yeah, I love the green color. I know, I the like sold sage out right now. green. It's such a beautiful color and it kind of matches what I'm wearing. Yeah, and I love the blue. I know the blue and the sage. I feel like they're so cute. They're twins. <laughs> so the next thing that totally lives up to the hype is actually something I found on Instagram and it is the Floresis makeup. Um, and this is such an elegant brand. Like, I don't know if you guys have seen them on Instagram, but all of their like palettes and lipsticks are completely like embossed yeah. with these like beautiful designs. Like this palette is like, you open it and it's like, that's why I haven't even started using it, but I have taken like content and stuff. <laughs> But I'm just like, it's so beautiful. Like all the delicate like patterns yeah. printed in the eyeshadows and the lipsticks really amazing. Like I know, it's like, it's almost too pretty to use. I know, it honestly feels like art to me, but I just love this brand. I think that their styles, like I haven't even done too many looks yet with actual makeup. Cause I'm like, oh, I don't want to like dip into I it. <laughs> but um, I just think like, you can tell also by like the packaging when it feels like more like 
heavy and substantial that it's good quality and I don't know I just think that the the style is really cute I love just like the overall design of the palette how it kind of like is a little half circle and then the lipstick oh my gosh it's just amazing and I really do think this is probably like some of the prettiest makeup I've ever like gotten or 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 used before and I don't know why but I just feel like prettier when I use pretty uh -huh. makeup I don't know like when I'm using an old like ratchet eyeshadow palette I'm just like uh. but when I use like something and it's all like pristine I'm just like oh yes perfection like it makes me feel like a real makeup artist I don't know if that's just me but it's funny <laughs> So thank you guys so much for watching. Those were some of our things that definitely live up to the hype. 100% girl, go get yourself some. <laughs> I know, and I feel like we were brutally honest because I feel yeah. like there are a lot of things that like we genuinely absolutely love. And then there are some things that we don't love as much like yeah. spending thousands of dollars on handbags. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we will link New Read down below for you guys if you guys want to check out their jewelry. And we love you guys so much. Big kiss, <laughs> and bye guys. Bye guys.